So it was in Indiana, the American Bridge Corporation. The American Bridge Corporation built hundreds of bridges throughout America, Latin America, and it was full of Mexican labor. I was uh, here uh, uh, doing a presentation called Songs and Images of Mexican Labor in the United States. It's a story in part of uh, the Braceros, uh, which were those thousands of Mexican men who crossed in 1942. But it's also a, a story of uh, Mexican-American history. During Hispanic Heritage Month, Columbia College always brings different speakers, and so I'm, I'm one of them. Uh, you know, I, I, cause the presentation was called 500 Years of Mexican-American History. And I used the corrido, which is a folk ballad of uh, Mexican workers that tell their story throughout those uh, 500 years. And I end it with a student song that I learned when I was a student, brown, red, black, and white, all the students must unite. Come on, everybody, get your hand. Yeah. Brown, red, black, and white, all the students must unite. Brown, red, black, and white, all the students must unite. I thought it was very, um, like, touching the way he told the, the history um, through a song instead of, and it was, um, I guess, a more entertaining and, like, untraditional way of explaining it. It made it more personal to, like, him, and it made you more interested in what he had to say about it. I've been interested in um, Latino culture in general, so, I figured today, if I came, you know, I'd be able to learn a little, a little bit more about at least the Mexican culture. Forty years I've been traveling and touring, uh, and uh, actually that, that was my dissertation that I that I that I presented. It was called 500 Years of Mexican American History of Summer. and I went to school at Berkeley at the University of California Berkeley. So you know, I've been touring for about 40 years.